Hey guys, it's Jaime Rivera from PocketNow.com. This is part one of the video review for the HP iPac 110. Speaking about hardware, remember I mentioned it has a 3.5 inch screen, which is good. I like big screens. It helps you see a lot more in a smaller space. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that it's QVGA. If you'll notice my Herald right here on the side, when you sport QVGA on a small screen, you definitely get better color depth and clarity. It's just too bad this device doesn't bring VGA, but then again, for the price range, I guess we can't ask for much. The other thing I didn't like about the screen was the fact about sensitivity. Sometimes it's sensitive, sometimes it's not. I learned that in this device, you have to press it real hard for the device to understand. And then again, you notice it here on the toolbar, you have to press it hard, and that could bring future scratches, which is something that I really didn't like about the device. Going into settings, some things that are different about the iPad, as you'll notice, is that there aren't any soft keys. That's one thing I didn't like about it, but then again, HP thought about it and they considered bringing you different options. So, for example, in my case, I'm not really much for the camera and email buttons, so HP considered the fact that you could just press and hold them for certain commands and just press them for others. So I chose for the left and right buttons to be soft keys, and then if I press them hard enough, I get different applications. It's really, really good part in HPS for this part in buttons. The other things are pretty much standard. One of the bugs that I did notice about this device is in sound. You'll have to listen real clearly because it doesn't really sound that hard, but when you press any sort of sound, like for example this one, you'll notice there's a little bit of a bug at the beginning. It happens with, with each of the sounds. It doesn't happen, with, doesn't happen with MP3 stuff or anything like that, but it does with the WAV files that are included in the device. Uh, don't expect much of a good sound from the speaker built in at the back. It's really not good, and since it's not lifted or anything, if you put it on your table or something, you just won't hear anything. And that's one of the things that I didn't like about it either. Going into system, backlight is one of the things that I also liked. Brightness is controlled automatically by the auto sensor you notice here, which is here at the top. But then again, you could also control it from here or there. One of the things I didn't like about this is if you push it all the way down, you just can't see anything. As opposed to other devices, when you pull it all the way down, and it leaves a little bit of lighting. My HTC Herald has that, which is something I really do miss. On the iPad audio part, it's pretty much the same. It's just the auto gain control, so don't expect much of a different feature right there. HP Asset View is something different you're not used to seeing, but then it's almost the same thing as the Asset Views from other devices. Uh, different things that are available in the device, nothing real big here. On the memory side, you will find something good for the iPack. You have 256 megabytes of ROM out of which 197.53 are available for your job. 64 megabytes of RAM are available, but then again, I don't understand why, even if this is in a phone device, why you only have a little bit of it available. It's still not bad, but then again, it could be better. On the connection side, you'll notice that the Bluetooth stack is different. HP chose to use their own, which is different from the Microsoft. I couldn't say it's better. One of the things I don't like is the fact that if you turn off the device and turn it back on, it'll turn off Bluetooth too, which is something different you'll notice that HTC devices don't have. You turn off the device and it remains on. Too bad for that part. Then again, let's try to end this here. IPAC wireless is something that's brought in. It's nothing really out of the ordinary. It's just a way to turn on and off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which is something you can also control from the Today screen. This is pretty much it for some of the settings that are different in the HP iPad 110. We'll keep on reviewing the device and seeing different things that are available pertaining software and everything. Remember, keep us posted on the forum if there's anything else you're interested in seeing. Thank you very much for pocketnow.com.